Uh, my name is Niyati Parmeshwaran. I work as a data scientist for the IBM Watson Group. Uh, a lot comes from just the name because I work as a data scientist and uh, this conference, Data by the Bay, is supposed to bring in um, a lot of um, data scientists whose primary uh, focus and the focus of a lot of talks here revolves around um, all steps with data, converting that data into information right from pre-processing, munging, and then uh, rendering insights out of that data. So um, that's why it's really exciting to be with a familiar group of people. Um, it's exciting because it kind of, uh, when you get really noisy, uh, clunky data, um, you kind of, as a data scientist, you kind of want to see what kind of structure exists in that data so that you can proceed to uh, put in probably a predictive analytics framework or a recommendation engine, basically find out what that structure is. So it's kind of a challenge because every data set that you get is obviously not the same. And that kind of variety um, allows you to think of variations in terms of what you potentially could do with that data and how you can leverage it when you're um, conceptualizing your algorithmic paradigm or framework. Um, I have kind of, um, in my talk, I'm talking about two projects that um, frameworks have built at uh, Watson. And um, these frameworks, while they can be used uh, individually by themselves and still have utility, because one is a paraphrase detection and paraphrase generation framework, and the other works for automatic text summarization, I also um, talk about how we can sync this to existing Watson services um, to essentially improve uh, the way that the service performs. Uh, I want attendees, of course, there are going to be people with a clear background in machine learning who would have a sense of autoencoders, uh, recursive autoencoders and the other things that I would be speaking in my talk, but I'm hoping that even for someone who is not very familiar with machine learning, I would be able to explain uh, to them from a high level perspective as to what this framework does and um, basically the potential um, that exists when you build frameworks like these and how they're easy to do. It's, it's not so complicated. So, yeah. uh, I'd say uh, the machine learning community and the data science community as a whole is very, very active right now. So uh, um, if you just start from downloading Hacker News, one or two out of the five articles that get pu uh, published every day would be around this space. Um, just start to just start to actively participate. Uh, that's one space. Um, Coursera and Udacity have some really great courses in the space of machine learning um, and natural language processing. Kaggle is uh, something that every ML enthusiast um, should participate in because they also have tutorials and uh, then you can start to participate in competitions. So uh, if you are interested in this space, there's a lot of um, stuff that's happening around that you can easily get onto.